Well, it was last call for Texas bars back in June. Now, that's when Governor Greg Abbott ordered them to close down for a second time. And as other businesses have reopened across the state, the bar owners are wondering when it will be their turn. Greg Chandler following that part of the story. He is live with the Noises Brewing Company tonight. So, Greg, any word yet on when the bars will be allowed to open again? Right now, Lee, no. And that's why bar owners are so frustrated with this second round of closing. But while the Noises Brewing Company has found a way to reopen legally, there are plenty of other establishments that haven't been as lucky. Clarity, give us some sort of, of, of knowledge of when we're going to be able to open. It's murder. Kale Moore, one of the co-owners of the Noises Brewing Company, is frustrated. Like other Texas bar owners, Moore wants to know when Governor Greg Abbott will take the restrictions off his business. Kids are back in school. Um, a lot of people are back at work. Uh, restaurants are at 50 percent. I don't know why the bars are still shut down. They're Governor Abbott reclosed bars June 26th, citing the statewide spike in COVID-19 cases. At that time, the governor gave no indication of when they'd reopen. But last month, Governor Abbott said he wanted the statewide positivity rate to drop below 10 percent. That happened two weeks ago, but still no word. My complaint from the very beginning was we don't know what the milestones are. Um, They've gotten a little bit better of showing us those milestones, but then when we do reach the milestones, there's no real news of when we're going to open. Public opinion is swinging to Moore's cause. Those are people's livelihoods. Uh, right now with the whole pandemic, uh, it's definitely putting a stress on a lot of businesses. Um, bars are one of the ones. Isaiah Zariano has friends and relatives who are bar owners. And I'm actually seeing firsthand uh, the struggles they're going through right now. Uh, with them being closed. Last month, the TABC ruled that any establishment with a commercial kitchen could be relicensed and open as a restaurant. Moore took advantage, but he knows he is one of the lucky ones. I know a lot of them are trying to figure out ways to add kitchens, but uh, some of them don't have, you know, the means to do so. And I really feel for those guys. Now, as you can see, there are plenty of people here enjoying dinner as well as enjoying an after work beer. And that's because Nueces Brewing was relicensed as a restaurant. In fact, because of that, they're going to be celebrating Oktoberfest with an October feast. That's coming up September 27th. For more information, just log on to our website, ChrisTV.com. But for now, reporting live, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. Lee. All right. Thank you very much, Greg. And by the way, Governor Abbott has a COVID-19 update planned for tomorrow. We'll keep you posted on what he has to say.